Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about this Runkle Titan II 6000 spinning reel. But before we get into today's video, I, I wanna remind you to please hit that subscribe button, pound that like button, show love and support for the channel so we can keep this dream going and keep it alive. I know that you're the reason why this all happens. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support. Also, if you wanna pick up one of these Titan II spinners, these Runkle reels, you can go ahead and do that in the 6,000 size like this, all the way down to they have 2,000 size. You can use my code SD2RUNKLE for 15% off. I'll also go ahead and put that in the description to the video so you can take advantage and get one of these spinning reels for yourself, see how you like it. So at the tail end of last year, 2021, after fishing hard all year long, you can check out, I'll put the card up for my highlight videos. If you haven't already seen those, you can see all the different places that I went, all the different fish that I caught. And at the end of the year, I had a company reach out to me Runkle reached out and they said, hey, do you want to test out one of our products and do a collaboration video on it? And I said, sure. So I went on to their website and I picked out this Titan II spinning reel in the 6,000 size. And I wanted to have it for to put my sabiki on it to be able to catch mackerel out in La Jolla. I wanted it for a halibut inside the bays, rockfish in Central California, down in Baja in a variety of fish off the sport boats. I really wanted a reel that was gonna be super versatile and used for a whole bunch of different things. And I went ahead and I chose this and I needed to have line for it. So I asked them, they, Runkle also makes their own fishing line too, braided line. So I had, I got the 40 pound blue braid and I put that on onto it. And right out of the box holding it, it was really, really nice feeling, solid, feeling real smooth when I was reeling it and you know smooth when opening up the bale really really I like the feel of it right out of the box so I went ahead and I put the line on it put it on a uh, rod and I went to Central California up in Cambria I launched the paddle kayak there and that was on the way up to Northern California for Christmas and I stopped and I fished out of Leffing Well Landing. Unfortunately, the, the bite was pretty slow. I only got like one nibble, that was about it, but I got to really get a feel for the reel and what it was like putting it in the rod holder and paddling out there with the kayak. It got wet, so that's one thing, it hangs lower. See how wet it got? Then, you know, opening it up and dropping it down, reeling it back up just a good good solid feeling reel so i i took it out to cambria fished it off the kayak there and enjoyed my first uh, outing with it even though i didn't catch any fish then it was back down to san diego and i went out on the solo skiff to la jolla i went I launched out of mission bay in the morning time and then motored out to la jolla and i put my sabiki on it for when i went out to la jolla and i was able to catch a bunch of mackerel uh, using the sabiki with the with the runkle and I was dropping it down 200 300 feet and reeling back up and super smooth no problem I was able to catch a couple mackerels at a time very very happy with fishing it in La Jolla so this is going to be in the future I'm going to have my sabiki on this one right here and use that for my catching my bait fish if I'm out in La Jolla and then I can switch it up and put the iron on it too Big greeny, big Spanish. I'm talking about. After La Jolla, then I took it to San Diego Bay and I was fishing with Glenn and Sand Dog Kayak Adventures Ooh, there in the bay. Nice. I used his setup there, his halibut uh, live bait. I was fishing live sardines. So I put the trap set up, trap hook on it and a little Carolina rig, and I was fishing the bays and caught a couple spotted bay bass, a little short halibut that popped off as I got it up to color, 
and I had a great time using it in San Diego Bay and it had no problem pulling on the spotted bay bass there. Just liked it. Good, good stuff. Getting close. After San Diego Bay, then it was on to Dana Point. And I went and I fished up in Dana Point. Same thing with Glenn with Sand Dog and with a bunch of the mad anglers. And we went up there and I, I put this on the same setup that I had in the bay the day before. The trap rig set up for the halibut, Carolina rig with the three ounce weight. And I was dropping that down outside of Dana Point. Ended up getting a sand bass on it. That was cool pulling up. This is in shallower water, 20 feet but still caught a nice keeper size sand bass. But that was it for Dana Point. So those are one of my three test areas overall. I'm really, really enjoying this reel. I'm excited for what the future has in store with it. Pulling on some bigger fish. They say 44 pounds drag on this reel here. So maybe if I get on yellowtail, tuna, dorado, something like that, and try to pull a little bit more. That's gonna end it here for my initial thoughts and experiences with this Runkle Titan II spinning reel. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, pound that like button, drop me a comment, and show some love and support for the channel. And also check out the link uh, in the description for the uh, discount if you wanna get one of these spinners yourself and give them a shot and test out. So. Thank you for all, all for watching. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the support. Uh, fish hard, troll hard. Until next time, I'm out. Later. Yoo!